All right, everybody. So we went through the fundamental punches in boxing as applies to a heavy bag. I've shown you three different combos. The jab, cross, hook, cross. The double jab to cross, hook, cross. And the jab, cross, jab, cross, hook, hook. Set your phone or timer for three minute rounds, okay? We're gonna do three minutes on with one minute rest. When you are done, you can choose to repeat or call it a day. This will be a very good workout and give you some good practice at home. A few tips to keep in mind when you are punching a heavy bag such as this one. First of all, as always, we want to maintain high hands. So whenever I'm punching, I'm always bringing my opposite hand back to the chin, preferably even the eye line, okay? But first of all, we need to build some muscle memory. It's very easy for us to drop our hands, especially when we get fatigued. But we want to keep the shoulder locked in, right? Like we're trying to squeeze something underneath our arm. So we keep this hand up. When my left hand jab goes, the right hand comes back. Now when I throw the cross, the left hand comes over, protecting my chin. So we always want to keep these hands high, right? Even when we throw hooks, right? Like I said, tip number three is keep that hand high. Like I said, tip number two in the hooks, keep that guard hand high. So even when we're throwing hooks, the hands stay high. Now secondly, something unique to a heavy bag, especially a common heavy bag that you'll find at home, meaning it's a little shorter than a Thai style bag. You will notice that these things start to swing a lot. All right, so let me throw a couple combos, show you. Now my bag is swinging, okay? This is not preferred now because I have a tendency to want to stop it, all right? And that's not good. What this is telling me is that I'm pushing my punches, okay? So if when I punch, I'm right here. When my jab lands, I still have a lot of room left in my punch, okay? This is called pushing a punch. And this is not ideal in boxing because if I'm pushing my punches, right? I'm doing a lot of work with my upper body. That is not good. You want to be at a distance, and this is why it was very important in the beginning that we find our distance correctly, right? We want to line up right where at full extension our hand touches. Because we want to be as far away from our opponent as we can because we don't want to get hit. So that's the goal, right? So I need to be back where I can hit him and he can't hit me. So if I'm here pushing my punches, that means he can hit me. So, this bag is a good way to keep you honest. If you notice your bag is swinging a lot, you often have to stop it. That means you need to work on your distance. So try stepping a half an inch, maybe an inch back, and then throwing your combos. Right? All right, so if we're throwing at good extension, you will have very minimal movement in this bag. So the bag is keeping you honest. Now one caveat to that, when we're really throwing those power hooks, right, our bag's gonna swing a little. Now we can use this to our advantage, because as the bag swings, right, it swings back, I wanna lay into it, so swing, lay into it, okay? That'll help power through your hooks, but do keep in mind that that's gonna put more strain on your shoulders. So if you're just starting, I would recommend throwing a hook, Stop, wait for it to swing back, and then hit it on the swing back, right? See, follow the bag, all right? It's gonna swing more, but it takes some tension out of our elbows, okay? Now, if you're a power puncher or you're intermediate or advanced, we wanna wait for that swing and try to stop the bag. So that is how we keep the bag from swinging. So distance, hands high, and those are some great practical tips and combos for anyone at home right now who has a bag tied up out back and a pair of boxing gloves. For more information and tutorials, feel free to check me out on Instagram, Garrett underscore Jax with two X's. And be sure to check us out here at Rockbox Fitness San Diego. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. Thank you very much and we'll catch you next time.